Uh, our project title is High Efficiency Bidirectional Converter for Flywheel Energy Storage System. This is the supply transformers from uh, for giving supply to all the kids. Um, this is the main circuit of this uh, project. This is the bidirectional converter. In this converter, we are using four switches. All four switches are used as uh, MOSFET switches, and your uh, resonance circuit is used LCL. Uh, that is the uh, advanced uh, resonance circuit which is used in this uh, project for uh, bidirectional converter. And for driving and for controlling this bidirectional converter, we are using a PIC microcontroller. This PIC microcontroller needs only a 5 volt supply. So we are using a transformer which gives a supply to the rectifier. The rectifier rectifies it to uh, rectify this and give it to voltage uh, controller, uh, controller. This voltage controller gives uh, five, only the five, uh, needed 5 volts supply to pick microcontroller. This one is a crystal oscillator. This gives uh, clock pulse to pick microcontroller. Uh, this one is the buffer circuit. The current gain of uh, pick microcontroller is uh, lower. That's why we are using a buffer circuit for, uh, uh, to increase the current, uh, current gain. And this one is an octocoupler circuit for uh, isolating the pick controller and also to bidirectional converter so that the program does not get erased and for outer coupler circuit we have to give supply and this this uh, part is the one which gives supply to each of the uh, opto isolator uh, from supply it has been given to this part from this part it, uh, it gives uh, 12 volt supply to opto isolator and uh, from a supply uh, from a supply this it has been given to a rectifier part here the rectifier part rectifies it and then gives to bidirectional bi converter from bidirectional converter it is being supplied to fes part fes is nothing but when a vldc machine is coupled uh, coupled to a flywheel part then it is called as an fes system that is flywheel energy storage system Uh, this is FES part. DLDC motor is coupled to another motor. This motor will be acting as a flywheel part. Uh, FES is nothing but uh, when a BLDC motor is coupled to a flywheel arrangement, it is called FES flywheel energy storage system. When DLDC motor is being uh, given a supply, that is when it is drive, it rotates and, in, and then it drives this uh, flywheel part, that is this motor. When it starts rotating, energy gets stored and uh, energy, energy starts uh, gets stored and the battery gets charging uh, due, because of this rotational energy. Whenever there is an interruption in supply from the battery, it is being given to the FES part. And then now this uh, motor drives the BLDC machine. From the BLDC machine, it has been given to bidirectional converter and then to DC bus so that the load is getting a continuous supply whenever there is an interruption in supply. During normal mode, the supply is given to the uh, rectifier, then uh, uh, the rectifier gives the supply to the bidirectional converter. Mm. During normal mode, the supply is given to the rectifier, then the rectifier step down to uh, certain voltage now. The voltage is given to the bidirectional converter is shared to your multimeter. Of voltage is 26. It's approximately 27 volts. Since Google, since it is a buck mode, the voltage is, has been reduced as, as, as required to a VLDC motor. Since it is a buck mode, the voltage has been reduced to 12, 12 volt. Now I am going to connect a phase system to the bidirectional controller. The energy starts storing in the battery. Uh, the stored energy. The VLDC motor is rotating. The energy, uh, it is uh, coupled to the flywheel. The rotation energy is stored in the battery.
the value starts to read. When there is an interruption in supply, when there is an interruption in supply, when the battery will start discharging uh, to flywheel and the flywheel will be uh, fly flywheel run, uh, run the BLTC motor. This will act as a generator and it will be supplying the bidirectional converter. From bidirectional converter, it will be given to the receiver so that the load gets continuous supply. When uh, battery is connected, 